And it's 10.26, you're with GB Britain's Newsroom on GB News with Andrew Pearce and Beth Turner. So, in the King's speech, the government is expected to include legislation forcing ministers to conduct an annual oil and gas licensing round. Uh, this came out yesterday and um, it sent those people from Just Stop Oil, who you know we love and hate in equal measure, into a bit of a spin. That's right, two protesters were arrested after glass protecting the Rokeby Venus uh, painting at the National Gallery in London was smashed. About 100 arrests were also made by the police as Just Stop Oil were causing chaos marching on Whitehall. So, Dr. Patrick Hart is a spokesperson for Just Stop Oil and joins us now. I have to say, Patrick, I do admire the fact that you and your lot will have these conversations with us. A lot of the time, people who are trying to make social change do it behind closed doors and they won't have these really difficult conversations mm -hmm. because we are, as two people sitting here, we are furious about these sorts of protests, the mm -hmm. destruction, the pointless damage mm -hmm. to a picture like this, the disruption to people's lives, and the awful lengths that you're going to, which don't make any difference whatsoever to whether we should have more oil and gas licences. Mm. So, uh, I take your, your point, the, the outrage caused by this. I've been involved in lots of these types of actions myself. And I see it from my family, from my friends. They are annoyed, they're angry, and I understand that. It's a natural reaction. But then what they say is, I admire you for standing up for your values. So I'm a doctor, and I became a doctor because of my core values, and that is that I want people to be safe, to live, live their life in, a, in safety, to be able to do what they want, be around their family, have a happy life. Are you a medical doctor? I'm, so a, medic a, med I'm a GP. Yeah. So every day I go to work yeah. and my, my number one concern is keeping my patients safe. And that is the exact reason why I am doing these but actions, you, but, to keep but, people safe. But you know, on occasions, the tactics of Just Stop Oil has meant ambulances have been unable to get to hospital because you've disrupted the traffic so badly. How does that equate with your Hippocratic Oath about keeping people safe as a doctor? So, I have a real problem with this, so... Well, that's we've, not, not we've, a bigger problem as the person in the ambulance does. Well, listen to what I've got to say. We, we asked for a freedom of information request to the ambulance service and no emergency ambulance has ever been delayed by Just Stop Oil. And I think what I you're doing... That. I think what you're doing, unfortunately, is fear-mongering and you're trying to make Just Stop Oil supporters sound like scary people. So, what I, I want to say... You are what, scary. What I want to say to you is, what well, I'm sat here in front of you. Mm. I'm a family doctor. I've been a family doctor now for mm. five years and a doctor for nearly 14 years. Mm. All, all I've done up until becoming a supporter of Just Stop Oil is go to work and look after families and their children, OK? Am I really that scary? Or maybe, am I just a normal I person? I find you absolutely I, terrifying. I, I find that absolutely terrifying. And the worst kind of doctors are those who sit there and say, it is my job to keep you safe. This awful patrician attitude, as though the, 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 that person's health, that person's well-being, is also partly their responsibility. And that idea that it is your job to keep me safe, it is not your job to keep me safe. It isn't. I take your point. So. Uh, I mean, I would challenge that. The duties of a doctor, as outlined by my regulator, the GMC, are patient safety is your first priority. Mm -hmm. So I... This, we this, fully this is this the, oath, the part of the patient. This, this is the oath that I've taken. But, no, you're right. Whose job really is it to keep us safe? Actually, it's our government's job. And in the past, at times of war, at times of economic collapse, great turmoil and disaster, the government has kept us safe. Now, in 2023, the government is doing the exact opposite. Every time the government says we're going to drill for more oil in the North Sea, they are putting our lives in danger, British people's lives in danger. I disagree. And, and killing us, OK? I disagree, and killing you can us. find scientists who would disagree with yeah. you and All say right, that they we, do not have look, that same consensus If we look really, really in. hard, maybe we'll find one, but 99.9% .9 of scientists around the world, and, and, might I add, global doctors and healthcare workers, we've seen just last week, a letter, joint letter from the representatives of three million doctors around the world mm. say new oil and gas means death for our patients. So let's, okay. keep, let's just keep importing gas from Russia then, shall we? No. And how, and how is that no. environmentally friendly? No. Let's 
get ourselves off oil and gas. So the reason we're still using so much oil and, and gas... And importing liquid gas, the, uh, 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 which the, is the reason more damage to the environment. The reason we're, we're still using so much oil and gas is because the companies, the very already very wealthy companies, very powerful companies, who drill this stuff up, the polluters are keeping us addicted. Okay, we we you know could. Why? I am addicted to having a warm house because the cold mm. kills more people every winter than the heat I, ever I does. I thought you might say this. So, your so that question implies we have to choose: do we die of cold or do we die of heat? Okay, how about we said in one of the richest countries on earth at one of the greatest times to be alive? Maybe we could say we won't die of either. We could insulate our homes and install heat pumps. Fine, which, so protest about that. Whoa, protest he, about oh, that. I am. Heat pumps, which in the in the middle of summer you flick a switch and it becomes mm. an air conditioner. Okay. But Nobody. How does smashing a painting at the no, National Gallery help this? Let me finish. Nobody has to die of heat or cold. All right. Mm. That. Why on earth do we accept either of those things? How does smashing a painting help? Okay. So the painting, which wasn't smashed, the glass was smashed. Mm is the exact painting that over 100 years ago, mm, back in, in 1914, you've already said it yourself, mm. the suffragettes actually slashed the painting, OK? Mm. At that time, the world we were living in was, again, a world where politics was broken. Women had been asking nicely for the vote for a very long time, OK? And then, finally, a group of women got together, ordinary women got together and said, what are our values? What do we really care about? We care about equal rights for women, and we are not going to be ignored any longer. They slashed that painting, and now we, we build statues of them, OK? It is so offensive to me. I am almost uh, impossible to offend, Patrick, but I find it so offensive to compare the suffragettes d protesting for women to have the vote to take part in our democracy with you deciding, with Just Stop Oil, deciding that there's a consensus on the science, the very definition of science is that there's never consensus, that was the scientist, and that you've, all decided, decided that was you've all decided that for my benefit, you need to cause this kind of disruption in London, this kind of damage ac across London and Europe. It is not your place to make that decision for other people. So the, the two people who did Just, just Stop Oil supporters who took part in that, this action, they actually uh, are, I think they were 20 and 22, they're young people. They are actually doing it because they're fighting for their own lives, OK? They have to live with the consequences of the decisions Well, they're going to have a criminal there. record now, so... Well, so why would someone say, OK, I accept a criminal record, because actually that's better than what's coming down the line they, to me? Because they're young kids who don't know what they're doing. Because... They are well informed and they are standing up for their values. Young kids standing up doing, against Patrick. an act of genocide, which is new oil and gas. It is act an act genocide. of genocide. That is an over the top I'm, statement. I'm, I'm afraid that it's just Come the truth. On. Why and if do you, you go, your if tactics you, if are you, ludicrous. If you don't and like and it, and the narrative you're painting here is over the if, top. If you don't like it, I don't blame you. Genocide is a terrifying on. word, but unfortunately, that is the truth. So what I've got to say is no new oil and gas. And anyone listening to this, come and join us. The eight, Saturday, the 18th of November, on, Falga Patrick. Square, midday. Get down there, join just right. the point. Well, you make your, you, you defend Hart, your, you defend I shake your, your hand corner. For the fact that you have these conversations. Yeah. We respect you for doing that. I don't respect you for your actions, but thank you so much. Right, thank we've you. got a lot more this morning. Uh, Prince Huffy, Harry, and Meghan insist that Charles snubbed them.